astronomers discover earliest and most distant galaxy formed moments after Big Bang. HD 1, with a mass perhaps 10 billion times greater than our Sun, may have been populated with the very first generation of stars. Astronomers have discovered what may be the earliest and most distant galaxy ever observed, one that formed relatively soon after the Big Bang event that marked the origin of the universe and may be populated by the novel first generation of stars. Because of how long light takes to travel immense distances, 5.9 trillion miles, 9.5 trillion km, in a year, observing objects such as HD1 amounts to peering back in time. If the data is confirmed by future observations, HD1 would supplant one called GNZ11 as the earliest known galaxy by about 100 million years. HD1 would be considered the earliest and furthest known astronomical entity. The researchers used data from telescopes in Hawaii and Chile and the orbiting Spitzer Space Telescope. They hope to obtain more clarity using the James Webb Space Telescope, due to become operational within months after being launched by NASA in December. Observational information on HD1 is limited and other physical properties remain a mystery including its shape, total mass and metallicity, said University of Tokyo astrophysicist Yuchi Hurricane, lead author of research detailing the discovery published in the Astrophysical Journal. Metallicity refers to the proportion of material other than the gases hydrogen and helium that were present in the primordial universe. The difficulty is that this is almost the limit of the capabilities of current telescopes in terms of both sensitivity and wavelength, Hurricane added. Galaxies are vast assemblages of stars and interstellar matter bound by gravitational attraction, like the Milky Way in which our solar system resides. The first galaxies, arising 100 million to 150 million years after the Big Bang, were less massive and denser than those existing today, with many fewer stars. The researchers said HD1, with a mass perhaps 10 billion times greater than our Sun, may have been populated with the very first generation of stars. These so-called Population 3 stars are hypothesized as extremely massive, luminous, hot and short-lived, composed almost exclusively of hydrogen and helium. After the Big Bang, some regions in space ended up being denser than others, and this attracted progressively more matter. This effect created large concentrations of gas, some of which collapsed to form stars, said astrophysicist Fabio Picucci of the Center for Astrophysics Harvard and Smithsonian, lead author of a related study in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society Letter. Elements heavier than hydrogen and helium were absent in the universe's initial stages forged later inside the earliest stars and then spewed into interstellar space when they exploded at the ends of their life cycles. HD1 was observed to possess extreme ultraviolet luminosity. Population 3 stars could emit more UV light than ordinary stars, with HD1 possibly undergoing a very abrupt starburst, Picucci said. An alternative explanation for the UV luminosity could be a supermassive black hole about 100 million times more massive than our Sun situated inside HD1, Picucci added. Many galaxies including the Milky Way hold supermassive black holes at their centers. Until now, the earliest known one of these was dated to about 700 million years after the Big Bang. The earliest stars and galaxies paved the way for those existing today. The first galaxies were a millionth of the mass of the Milky Way and much denser. One way to think of them is as the building blocks in the construction project of present-day galaxies, like our own Milky Way, Harvard University theoretical physicist and study co-author Abby Loeb said.